I want to give you an update on my garden. Uh, we've had plenty of rain. In fact, it's raining right now. Everything's doing really good. Start off here with the Howden pumpkins. These get up to around 30 pounds. Everything's looking pretty good. We've had actually good rain and sunlight. Here's the cucumbers. Ready to pick. These things grow really fast when you get a lot of rain. That patch will make a lot of cucumbers. I mainly just grow these for organic chicken feed, feeding my chickens. Give a lot of them away to people. Next is my carrots, they're doing really good. Green beans, I've done two pickings off of these. Almost could be picked again. With all the rain, these, these get ready really fast every like two or three days. Tomatoes, like four or five feet tall. These are celebrities. They always get like a wheat, a uh, leaf, excuse me, leaf wilt at the bottom. It works its way up. It's almost impossible to stop that. But they always produce a lot of tomatoes anyway, so I just let it go. Then I got the California Wonder bell peppers, the sweet bell peppers. They're really taking off here. Plant here is kind of loaded with them. Another patch of celebrities. These are getting really thick. Getting lots of tomatoes on them. barely even walk through them. They get so thick. That's what's nice about caging these tomatoes or tying them up. Keeps them up off the ground. I got my onions over here. Like I told you before, I just if they get so big, I just let the weeds take off. Save myself some labor. They're just about ready to be harvested. Seems like when the tops fall over, I said the bulbs are getting pretty good size. I'll be digging these probably within a week. So a lot of times when the tops fall over, you don't get them out of the ground, they'll rot on you. That's pretty good there. Next is broccoli. Coming along pretty good. The little white butterflies come in, lay eggs, put out a worm, eat them all up. You have to kind of pick them off. And here's the reds, sweet or not sweet potatoes, but reds. These are, I think, the Pontiacs. These are not sweet potatoes. It's regular potatoes. They come along pretty good. This is when they're really good eating here. 
can take them right out of the hills. They're starting to lay down on the ground and then slowly they'll die back. That's when you start digging them. Mainly here in Illinois, probably around you know September. Another little roll of sweet corn. My corn's not doing too good in this patch. Uh, raccoons. I put a fence around it, try to protect it, but I figured they'd go over the top of it, and they did. They're eating it down pretty good. I haven't gotten one ear out of here. They're just ripping it apart. Here's what a raccoon does to your sweet corn. Just rips it apart. Eats a little bit, wastes the rest. Makes you sick to come out here and see that after you've hand weeded. You just gotta outsmart them. They usually tear apart the centers of the fields. When you live behind the woods, that's what you get, you know. That's where they live. So you gotta, you know, I always try to outsmart them. And I got another patch over here I'll show you. There's always something trying to attack your gardens out here in the country. I said before, like bugs, animals, the weather, storms can come in overnight and take it out. But uh, this here is a pretty good sized patch. I mainly grew this for canning. This patch here is doing really good. I got a wire mesh fence going around it to protect my chickens from getting in it. And then I got a hot line that runs along the top to keep the raccoons and other things out. But uh, it's actually working. I don't see any damage in here. So it protects you and the animals. It's a win-win for all your hard labor and stuff. So just want to give you an update. Ears are just starting to take off there. Middle of July. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.